I'm Lolan from Beverage Magnet Middle School. I'm in eighth grade, and this is syrup-like substance. I'm here. A vibration shook from the darkness of night, and he looked outside to find the car. As he went to grab a handful of bills, sudden chills went from his hair to his spine because of the line he would have to come up with if caught. But then thought again about what would happen if he was late. Having already made the exchange, he had a strange urge to go back home. But before the urge got extreme, he noticed a purple stream gleam from the corner of his eye and decided to stay. He couldn't excrete a noise loud enough to be heard, so he just spit up, hey. It croaked out from, from his little voice the same way a child would speak. See, he was only 14 and had seen the purple lean before, but couldn't recollect from where. So he asked for a sip and was going to slip out and dip, but this dealer had other plans. See, he wasn't a friend, he was a salesman. So he asked if he wanted to buy, but in a way so sly he couldn't deny the deal because he was able to reel him in with the false sense of security with one part immaturity, two parts obscurity of the question. Now the first sip led to a high, but the second an addiction until three and four led to so much more and he couldn't go to bed without it. Every sip that touched his lip left the membership of his family slowly deteriorating, weighing him down. And what was so damn frustrating was that pulsating headache that reminded him he needed a drug even to sleep. Then one day, while getting carried away with music and usage, his face went numb, and with every beat of the drum, his outcome was becoming more and more present because of the own drug he was buying. But just as bad as buying was the dealer supplying, which was only fortifying the terrifying thought of an overdose. And not thinking about that led to his permanent comatose. But just a mile away from all of that, I'm here, vibrated once again. Only this time, she was 13.